Okay, chums, well, I've got a head camera on, and hopefully you're seeing what I'm seeing. So I've printed these, uh, hopefully, yep, they're the Atlas cards I designed myself. Got some little mini ships there, they're going to go in the little mini bio domes. So I'll need to spray paint those in a bit, but I thought I'd just, you know, do everything in one take with this head cam. Hopefully it's quite gnarly. As you can see here, I've just done a few extra ones. So there we go. Let's get them off of the build plate. So it's flexible. You just bend it a bit and they pop right off. Some build plates are not flexible. So then uh, you're a little bit scuppered. You have to use like some sort of palette knife to get them off. But I'm quite good with this one. I really like the Flash Forge. Flash Forge is very, very good. So yeah, just slide that back in there. All good. Up these and we take these down to my garage. I'm going to spray paint all these. I'll just put them in this little bag for now so I don't drop any bits. Got a couple of little knowledge stones there as well. Let's grab them. Awesome. So off we go. We're going to go spray paint these in the garage. So this way. Oh, let's have a look at my. Look how awesome I look with my head cam. Mm -hmm. Right, so, yeah, as you can see, I'm in um, my PJs because we're sort of just, uh, you know, in lockdown. So no one's going to see me unless I stick myself on the internet like an idiot, which I've just gone and done. Right, so we go this way. Turn the light on in my garage. Here we go, guys. So, yeah, you've seen my spray booth quite a lot, but you probably haven't seen the contents of the garage. There you go. Now you have. So I'll stick these up here. Oh, looking at that card. Look, that one's come out. Now we're in the natural light. That is really not a good finish. Now, I've only just started using the um, this new PLA. And to be honest, I'm not overly impressed with the results that I'm getting with it. It's not an original Flash Forge PLA. I mean, look at the text on that one. It looks like it's been melted, you know. But a lot of these I'm going to be taking to the uh, meetup this year. So I might be able to do something with them in making them look like they're sort of like been hit by acid or something. Even the ships are looking a bit rough in this natural light chums. I mean, if I cover them with paint and give a paint job on them, they will look okay once they're in the little mini biodomes, but no, they're not as good and definitely not as good as um, previous prints. So yeah, I'm a little bit, a little bit disappointed with the quality that that PLA is giving. Different PLAs give different results, so you have to really play with what you've got. This I'm impressed with though, I got this from Poundland, one pound, where if you buy like, you know, one of these from like B&Q or something, you're looking like a heck of a lot more, you're looking at about six pounds, it's like six times the price. Here you go then, let's give it a little bit of a coat of silver. Right, that'll do. Now, I shouldn't have really put them all on top of here because really I need to move these off of here anyway because I don't really want the ships to get like a golden tint to them. So it's just the knowledge cards that I want really at the moment. So I'm just touching them at the smallest points of uh, contact. Let's get rid of all the knowledge stones, put them down there as well. Yeah, still a little bit tacky because we just spray painted them. And then what I'm going to do now is add a little bit of a copper tone. These ones I'm going to add a bit more to, so they look like they're rusted, you know? Then, so they look like, like they're more damaged. And then they get away with the pretty, pretty rough tick texture that's on them, really. But what I would do with these is I'd add burn marks and things to them. Make them look like they're really knackered. So a bit more golden on there. Give that a shake a bit. So this is a metallic shimmer. And I just want a little bit of metallic shine there. Done. Quite happy with the way that they look. So each one of these have their own individuality slightly to them. I'll just turn them over quickly and uh, we'll spray paint the back. I'll just do the back roughly just how I've done the fronts. Minimum point of contact again because I don't want to get my thumbprints on them or anything. Just by the edges. The edges don't really get overly sprayed. Oh, that one's stuck to that one, which isn't great. There we go. There we are. And then touch of silver. I think I'll just use a little bit of the gold on the back of these, like so. But then these ones that have got the rust on the front, I'm going to do the same on the back. So 
there we are so those two are going to have a very different sort of look to them i may even put some of the glow and the dark paint on them and things and make them look like they're proper you know messed up but there we go so that's my little spray booth and then the next stage is to paint these up with the uh, golden flake pen and i'll reconvene for that a little bit late, later hopefully this head cam has captured everything okay right cool done and stop. Oh, why is such a beautiful day, chums? I thought I might give you a quick garden tour with my head cam. Um, so yeah, before we do the uh, the golden penning on the actual cards, let's go see Ivy. How are you doing, Ivy? Good. How are you? Yeah, checking all the plants. I'm testing out your new head cam. Is it mine? Yeah, this is one I got you for ages ago that you haven't used yet. So I thought I'd show you how effective it is. Yeah, so looking at all your plants and things, very cool. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Do you want to give us a, give a bit of a guided tour of what you've been up to today? Uh, well, I'm replanting those uh, block of things here. We've got cool. no space in the garden, see? We've got even... No, there's nowhere to really walk way. now. Yeah, so a lot of this you're pl potting up to sell, aren't you? So, yes, all the bluegrass, look at that. That's very cool. The corn that you requested here on your left and right. Oh, okay. Is that, oh yeah, the corn, yeah, very nice. Cool, can't wait for that, that'd be cool. And the fish, have we seen the fish today? No, oh, there's one down there, I just saw him. He's just down in the corner. This one I'm yeah. saying is coming back. Oh, that's good, it's all growing back. But we had uh, birds fly down and take all of our moss for their nests, didn't we? Yeah, I, I put some again. Cool, I good. I put from everywhere. Oh, that's cool. Look at that mustard look. The mustard looks awesome, yeah, wow. doing good. Well, hello there, chums. Hopefully you can see all those Atlas cards on the table there. I am using the head camera. I think I've got it at the right sort of level of tilt, but um, I won't know until I watch this back. Right, so down here I've got my drawer full of paints. And these are the paints that I use. These are Warhammer paints. So there we are, I'm using those. This has got the main colours in, but I have got more down there as well. Let's just slide these out. I usually keep the paintbrush in here. But there we go. Oh, and sometimes I use these as well, which are like enamel humbral paints. Hopefully you can see that. Yep, maybe. I don't know. Right, so let's uh, pop down here. Here's my paintbrush. So it's just a Citadel Warhammer paintbrush. So let's just spin this around here. Okay, so I'm pretty much ready to go. Oh, I do need the black wash as well. So this I just got from Hobbycraft, but you can get a version that's in one of these paint sets as well, but I've run out and I use a lot of black wash. Okay, so the first thing that I do is I usually get a get a slightly larger brush for the black wash. I actually black washed it all first, so here we go. Let's just get a black wash open. It's one of those uh, childproof lids. Oh, that's a bit weird. That doesn't usually come off. There you go, that can go back in there. Yeah, back in there, you. Right. Just uh, dry brush this a little bit of black wash. Okay, right now I usually start on the card that's got the most, most rough detail because sometimes it comes out very black like that. Well, that's because I just pushed the lid back on, which isn't great. So I need some tissue, which I've got some just down here. I'm just gonna, oh, whoops, just gonna smudge that a bit. So as you can see, chums, there's no, there's no sort of rhyme or reason to the way that I do this sort of stuff. Um, changes every time. Okay, right. Well, let's try and get some of this black off of there. Because really, that black wash should be a little bit more washy. There we go. It's probably because I jarred it on the lid. There you go. That's better. And that should make it look a little bit more metallic. And I'll just splurge it on. There we go. Now, these ones that are more damaged, I want them to make them look more aged anyway. So, I can be quite liberal with the black wash. But there we are. I'll just get the the cloth and give it a bit of a under wiping so it should just give it a hint of black wash and then yeah on to the next one bit of black wash lovely jubbly and I think you get the idea with this there we are the black wash get the cloth prepare to get your hands dirty with us chums um, yep already getting there a bit more black wash next one this one's really rough. So, there we go. And 
like so. Gives it that nice sort of metallic look, doesn't it? When you compare it to those ones, you can see that it's coming along already. So there we are. It's just a case of doing the same again with a lot of these. Bum, 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 ba -da -bum. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay. And you see there I didn't put no black wash in this bottom corner, but there's enough black wash on there to sort of carry it over. So there we are. I was just missing a bit there, so I'll just dry brush a bit more on. There we go. This is what I use for the gold. It's like a metallic leafing pen. Metallic leafing pen. Hopefully you've got that somewhere in here with metallic leafing pen okay give that a good old shake sorry if that's shaking the camera there chumps but then yeah just pick up a card and then it's just picking up all the bits that you want in gold so there we go go there love jubbly leafing pen doesn't matter if i get it on the edges too much i can always fix that with a bit of black wash later there we go I'm going to get the little triangle in there. Done. Now as long as you're already dabbing it very lightly, you should only pick up the raised surfaces. It's like there. You see there? Just pick that one up, up quite nicely. Just don't be too forceful with it. Not it may smudge. Now I do want to edit these cards to make them a little bit more raised. To make them look a little bit more like this you know so there's a bit of a contrast between the surface and the higher layers that's quite that's quite a step up there. there's a couple of mil well there's more than a couple of mil where mine are just a couple of mil so i want to uh, change my print file which i will be doing hopefully for the next batch of these but i figured i'm taking these along to the meetup and stuff so they're going to be great to give away as three giveaways and things they're almost my prototype cards if you like so yeah I said just pick up all the highlights on here. Awesome. So some of these areas where the gold touches the actual card, where I don't want it to, I can tidy that up at a later date with a bit more dark colours. There we are. So gives you a bit of an idea. You tell you, I'll tell you what, I'll just do the gold on this one, and then I'll do the red on this one. I'll just finish this card off, so you can see how I do this one card. But I'll finish off all the rest of my own time. So there we go. Do that. There we are. That's looking great. Oh, just got to do this ring around here. Now this is the tricky bit because there is a very... It isn't raised at all there really. So let's just be really careful around here. Don't want to get it on the edge. Over the edge. Don't want to go out the lines per se. I mean, this pen is fairly accurate, but it's not as accurate as I am with a paintbrush, believe it or not. So we've got those, and let's just pick up these these three little squares in the bottom here as well. Jobs again. And then the thing that I do to finish these off is just a red dot on the uh, at this bit there. And then that's the card. Oh, no, let's do the text as well. So we've got to get the text. There we are. Level... The V on that one's terrible, hasn't really taken or lifted properly. So these were the really rough ones that I just chose to do the paint on. on. So there we are. Like this. Pass. And you can't even see the word pass there. So what I was going to do with this one is make it look a little bit more like it had been spat on with acid. And it's the same with these ones. The text is terrible on them. So I'm going to make them look a little bit more damaged. Yet, so there we go, we've got that. So what I could do for some of the acidy type look, so I've got a yellow here. I haven't tried the acidy type look before, but this is a really old paint and it's actually gone funny. And it, look, it's all watery and weird. So let's just dab this on where I want it to make it look. Oh, look at that. That looks like it's been spat on by acid, doesn't it? Like egg yolk. Okay, you know what? I'll get that cloth again. But it's still got a little bit of the black on. Boom. There we are. That looks a bit acidified. Let's put some more acidified in on the text because we're actually missing in letters there. Kapow, like so. 
there we are that kind of works looks like an acid mark put some here as well and that looks like it's been proper gunked on doesn't it there we are so there we go so they're kind of acidy type marks and then let's get the red we just put the red dot on and i think that one's about done and but that's it's kind of how i go about painting them i might put a little bit of a coppery texture on this one as well in a bit but yeah so let's get the dot in there dot done and now that i've got the red open i may as well just you know dot off the others so it's not like an exact science but that's pretty much the painting tutorial for these cards i mean uh, i did say i was going to put a little bit of a rust texture on the other one so if i get this this is another wash this is called organ flesh or something like that it's another warhammer flesh so ogrin ogrin flesh i haven't got much of this left uh, let's let's see if we can get some of that on my brush and we'll just chuck some of that down see that it's sort of like a a burnt bronze and ready color it's quite nice we'll put that around there as well and that makes it look like it's really had something happen to it it's like a burn mark kind of works okay we put that down there as well cool there we go, a damaged atlas card. I mean, that one looks like it came in contact with one of those um, horrors that you get at the abandoned station. I quite like the way that that one looks. Has a bit of personality to it, has a bit of story to it. We put some there as well, I think. Over in flesh, boom, there. In fact, it looks quite good on the actual gold. Almost looks like a blood stain, doesn't it? Oh, that does look cool. I like that. I put some in this corner as well. There we are. More of a blood stainy type card. That one looks seriously evil, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm liking that. Cool. So that's pretty much a paint job. And um, yeah, I'm just going to carry on. These three here are going to look like that one. And those ones there are going to look more traditional, like that one. So yeah, you got a more of a fun card, I think, with that one. It has a bit more of a story. But yeah, that's um that's pretty much my painting tutorial of Atlas cards. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you for another one of these head cam mounted ones if it, if if this footage has come out at all. Okay, oh my god, my tea's getting cold, so there we are. Brilliant. Fantastic, thank you for watching. That's still hot by the time I put done one. That's that's actually pretty good. That's pretty impressive. Bye for now. Goodbye. Okay, right, well, here's the finished articles. So as you can see there, they're all fully painted and looking quite normal. And then these ones are looking fairly abnormal. But yeah, I'm fairly happy with the way that they all turned out. They've all got their own little mini stories like that one. Looks like it's been plunged into something and blood splattered up it. Really like that one. So yeah, there we go. Jobs are good.